Well guys, it's Tuesday. I'm going back in tonight. Uh, the bucks are back on my trail cameras. I think I'm done dealing with those nasty guys. I think they're in trouble actually too. But uh, anyway, um, my bucks are back on my trail cameras. Only bad thing is they're not back during hunting hours yet. But that's an optimistic bad thing because I think that could change, especially with a day like this where it's cloudy, it's been raining off and on and then clearing up. I really think tonight or tomorrow something could happen. Oh my gosh, I hope so. Let's see how it goes. I'm getting on the four-wheeler and I'm getting the hell in my blind. See ya. I love hail. Well, it's pouring rain as you can hear. I can just hope that it clears up and brings the deer in. Last night and this morning there were no deer at all, just one doe last night, so. Let's hope my luck changes around tonight. I'm trying really hard to get my motivation back. But it's not really working. I'm just kind of sad. It's a lot harder in a blind where you're just sitting waiting for them to come to you. It really messes with your head. So you guys, you can probably barely see me right now. It's, it's 9.09. .09. At about 8.15, the big buck came in. Oh my gosh. I took a shot at his, this five by four. He was my number two buck. He's absolutely stunning. I, I got him so good. I found him, he's dead. Um, I, I'm gonna show you the blood trail and we're gonna go look at him. He is, my God, the, one of the most beautiful bucks I've ever seen. You know, I really thought in the moment I'd be crying, but I'm so happy. I can't even take it. Like, I can't believe I did it, you know, out here by myself. Spending night after night in my blind, I killed a mule deer with my bow. A hundred percent by myself. That is so dang cool. And after everything I went through, I I really lost so much faith and I didn't know it was going to happen and I did it. And oh my gosh, it's unreal. I don't, I don't feel like this is real life. I feel like I'm dreaming. I'll show you the blood trail. Let's go. Okay, you guys, this is the first ounce of blood. It took me a second to find it. I was really discouraged. I waited about 10 minutes after I shot. I could swear I heard a thud. And I couldn't find blood. I was nervous and I was about to give up and say I missed him. And I said, there's no way I hit him. I heard the thud. I'm on Red Rock right now. And I knew that I would have heard the clinking of my broad head on the Red Rock if I had missed him or I would have heard it hit a tree. So the blood starts off slow and then he starts dumping. Let me show you, let me go back and grab my bow. Let's see if you can see. Sorry, it's so dark. You can't really see, but you can see there, there's a lot of blood. Now we're gonna keep moving. Lots and lots of blood. Start to getting bigger and bigger. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And you can't tell because it's so dark, but it's bubbling. That's when I was like, oh my God, it was a good shot. <sighs> so he comes up here and he's running and he's running. I'm like so excited to see him again. I ran to get my camera. Oh my God. What a night. Okay. He's going. More blood. More blood. Lots and lots of blood. 
he did a pretty good run for how good I shot him. He ran pretty dang far. Well, in terms of things, he really didn't die too far from my blind. But first time I was tracking him, it felt really far. Lots of blood. Here we go. Good, solid blood trail at this point. I was loving it because I didn't have to look. Oh. More blood. Lots of blood. He died in a really cool spot. More blood. Like a really cliffy, pretty spot. More blood. Lots and lots of blood. We're getting close to him, guys. I'm so excited. More blood. Almost tripped looking at the blood. Lots of blood here. Lots of blood here, too. I could tell he was slowing down. Blood, blood, blood. More blood. Getting close, I promise. Lots of blood. Lots of blood. We're getting really close. I'm so excited to see him again. Look at all that blood. Oh, that's a ton of blood. When I saw that, I was like, he has to be close. There he is. Oh my God, wait till you see him. Let me switch to flashlight and show you on my camera. Here he is. Holy hell, I've never seen anything more beautiful in my life. Oh my gosh. Look at that fifth point on him. I, from the beginning, I just love that about him so much. And look at my arrow. You can see it there in the bottom. It was a perfect shot. My God, he's heavy. I'm in love. Thank you, buddy. He's stunning. I'm gonna take some pictures. Guys, so now the real dilemma is how do I get a picture with this bad boy? He's gigantic. I'm pretty little. He's down slope. Holy body. Look at the body on him. <laughs> he's absolutely beautiful. Eric is uh, coming down and he's going to help me get some really cool pictures in the morning, which will be great because this is my first mule deer with a bow. I've taken white tail with a bow before, but never mule deer. And holy hell, he is insanely big. Like, I know there's bigger bucks out there, but he just has the prettiest frame. I loved him from since the second I saw him. I said, this is a shooter buck. I propped him all up by myself. I spun him totally around and that was cool. And now, because I've been sleeping in this canyon for the past five days and I hear coyotes every night, um, I'm gonna sleep right next to him. Eric's on his way down and uh, I'm excited for him to see it. And there's a rock right over there that I'm looking at that I'm gonna perch up on. If any coyote comes by, they're dead meat. No coyote messing with my beautiful velvet buck. Man, look at him. He is so cool. I love him so much. He's got his tag on him now. So, he's all ready to go. Good night. Like, I just, all these things that I never thought would happen totally happened. <laughs> That's it was a hard hunt. <laughs>